So today I'd like to talk about the reaction of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol to form an ester. This is called the Fischer esterification reaction. The reaction is done under acidic conditions. We'll represent that just H plus. So we have an ethanol molecule and a carboxylic acid uh, reacts uh, to form our ester and a molecule of water. How does this go about? So if we think about it, the most likely reactivity of this compound with any kind of base is for the abstraction of the acidic hydrogen in an acid-base reaction. We do this under acidic conditions uh, so that we can activate this carbonyl. So our first step is to actually just protonate the carbonyl. I'm going to go down here. These are all reversible reactions. So we, once we've protonated our carbonyl of our carboxylic acid, we've activated it and we've made it a much better electrophile. Our nucleophile, which is the ethanol molecule, can now attack the carbonyl carbon. so that we can get this species. We have two hydroxyls on here and an ethanol molecule. Now what we want to do is to get this proton to move from this oxygen to one of the other two oxygens. As we've said uh, before, we can something will come along and pull this proton off and then it'll float around and it'll put the proton on somewhere else. So we're just going to represent that with our proton shift. So some base is going to come along and abstract this proton. It's going to float off and then we would have that species which is neutral and our, our acid will float around and protonate one of these other uh, molecules, one of these other oxygen atoms. And I'm going to protonate one of those. It's not going to matter, it's the same thing. But now all that happens is that we can remove that molecule of water and we get this compound. and a molecule of water. Now all we have to do is remove this proton with some base. Perhaps our water, something else will float around, but something removes this proton. And I'm just going to say base it's any base that happens to be present to give us our final product, and we've regenerated our acid. This now represents our original acid, and that's the esterification reaction. Now take a look at this. We go from a molecule of ethanol and a molecule of carboxylic acid to our ester and a molecule of water. All of these reactions are perfectly reversible, and in fact, we can drive this reaction in the other direction if we start with the ester by putting in lots of water uh, and a little bit of acid and drive the reaction in this direction. 
When we start on this side, we want to do things under dry conditions. We want as little water as around as possible. So we probably wouldn't use ethanol as our solvent. We may use some organic solvent that can be very dry with no water around. We put a little bit of acid catalyst in. Uh, we drive the reaction. We may try to remove water. Sorry, you can't see over there. This would drive the reaction to completion.